quick bit of breaking news for you here on SCW, the wrestling channel. Two kickoff matches have been announced for Money in the Bank. We've got Jeff Hardy versus Cesaro been announced. And we've also got R-Truth going to be taking on MVP. So those are the breaking matches that have been given for the kickoff of Money in the Bank. I expect Jeff Hardy uh, to pick up a victory here. Clearly, they're not looking to rush the match with him and Shane. They're looking to build both up. And I'm assuming that neither will be then buried in the process. Because it would be weird for Jeff Hardy to come straight back and destroy Shane. Sheamus straight after Sheamus has been on this impressive run. So I'd like to see him both have an impressive run and then face in the match. So I'm sure we can make that last for another few weeks before we see that in perhaps maybe Backlash or the pay-per-view afterwards. We'll have to wait and see. Um, with R-Truth and MVP, I mean, a part of me thinks that R-Truth would win, but then MVP now is starting a stable up and you would think that maybe uh, someone will have his back. Uh, so I'm going to go for MVP on that one, on that particular match. I don't think that it does anyone any harm, whoever wins or loses. Uh, but that's a quick um, little update for you there. Um, there has been rumours as well that someone is going off the building um, during this um, you know, WHQ money in the bank. So I thought I'd give my two cents on who I think would go off. Um, I think it's going to be Corbin or Nia Jax. I think that's probably uh, going along the realms of, of a popular opinion with a lot of people that are doing this. But um, I reckon perhaps if I had to put my money on one, I'm going to go for Nia Jax just for the shock factor. Uh, and I think that, um, yeah, a lot of people don't like either Corbin or Nia Jax. So I imagine they expect that would get the biggest pop at home. So um, I think that's potentially why if they're going to do this crazy stunt similar to Halloween Havoc 1995, um, that they may do that uh, for the cinematic viewing of WWE. But as I said to you in the predictions video, I've got no idea how they're going to make that work in storylines and how they're going to make it believable. But um, still, I think it seems like a certain they're going to do it. They've said it on TV. Um, so, yeah, I think that it's pretty much now that it's going to happen. Smackdown Hackers continued this week as well. Looks like the reveal is going to be happening this Sunday. We've had a female voice involved on there. Um, it does make me wonder. I'm starting to think the Iconics could be involved with this in some way, form, or fashion. I've been talking with George, of course, who does a lot of the WCW retro stuff that we've been doing. Uh, and he has a that Dana Brooke could be the one involved with it. It'd be interesting to see if we're going to have a tag team, if we're going to have a stable. It looks like we've had guy voices and female voices. It could be, um, you know, a, 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 some form of stable here, maybe even a higher power. Now, that would be very interesting to see if that was to play out. But um, I still think Ali and Gable are involved in this. But if I'm going to stick my neck out, I would say the Iconics would be involved. They did rumor a long time ago that they were coming back to WWE and were going to do a fresh gimmick. So this would be a very fresh gimmick for them to be involved with. And I just felt that that voice had a bit of an Aussie twang. But that's just me. Uh, but that's all from anyway. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time here on SCW. Take care.